Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. Gyeonggi Province announced the introduction of an honorary benefit for those 65 years of age and older who participated in Korea's democratization movement. Known as the Democratization Movement Honorary Benefit, this new benefit will be paid regardless of the beneficiary's income. The province plans to develop a range of policies to honor democratization participants. This year, Kyungi Province plans to initiate repair and maintenance support for 176 aging apartment complexes. In 2019, the province launched a small apartment complex repair and maintenance support program to provide cost support for related works, including rooftop waterproofing, building and road repair, and fire equipment installation, as well as aging facility repair and replacement. From 2019 to 2021, a total of 806 apartment complexes benefited from this provincial support program, the total is expected to grow to 982 this year. Stepping Stone to Hope Centers for children and youths who graduate from youth facilities have opened in northern and southern regions of Gyeonggi Province. These centers provide users with residential and other support services through educational and experiential self-reliance programs. The province plans to establish more centers while expanding support policies for youths. Gyeonggi Province is receiving applications from institutions and enterprises for participation in its 2022 Energy Independence Project for residents. Aimed at identifying energy industry business models for the province's pursuit of resident involvement in energy independence and new growth industry promotion, Participants in this project will be provided with facility installation cost support. Any local government, public organization, or private enterprise seeking to participate in this project can submit an application with business plans to the related local government office. Gyeonggi Province announced plans to provide 111 traditional markets and shopping districts with support for facility modernization and fire safety network establishment. This initiative is aimed at helping such bodies improve competitiveness and customer convenience, as well as initial fire response capabilities, so as to enable a swift return to normal operations after a fire. The province will select 12 locations for modernization support and 99 locations for fire safety network establishment. Gyeonggi Province has won the Presidential Award for its superiority in the Korean government's evaluation of regional voucher performance and merit. Presented for the first time by the Ministry of the Interior and Safety, this honor recognizes the economic and welfare effects of Gyeonggi local currency. The province had provided its residents with opportunities to experience local currency usage through disaster basic income and consumption support payments made in local currency while contributing to local economic promotion by limiting the use of local currency to traditional markets and small businesses. On January 2nd, Acting Gyeonggi Province Governor Oh Byung-gwan began the new year with a visit to the ground subsidence site in Goyang City. Through comprehensive safety inspections, Gyeonggi Province and Goyang City are working to determine the cause of the subsidence while reinforcing the structure to prevent further collapse. Considering the COVID-19 situation, the province cancelled New Year's Eve and New Year's Day events, including a memorial tower visit, as well as an official personnel commencement meeting. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.